Hello everyone, I hope that you're all doing wonderful. A few hours ago I um, posted in my Instagram story asking you to write assumptions about me and some um, questions and I would read them out in my video. So I'm doing it right now. This is my first time doing a video like this. Although I have on my first time video where I'm answering some questions about my first times. So let's begin. Yeah. Oh, I actually got quite a few questions. I'm not sure I'll be answering them all in this video because it may just be too long. But let's start with the question that repeated. You prefer to be called Anna or Anya? Well, um, many of my friends call me Anya, but it just sounds like Anya, Anya, not Anya or, you know, it's Anya. And I hated it when I was little. I really didn't like it, but now I love it. Um, but of course I like Anna more. I just don't think I'm a big fan of Anna and only English speaking people call me Anna. All the other people call me Anna, Anna. So I like Anna, Anna, it's okay. One of the things, a little TMI that I don't like is that when guys, you know, um, stop their cars, open the doors and listen to crap music, thinking that everyone likes the song that they're listening to. All right, what influenced you to start doing ASMR? You're absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Um, actually, well, I started doing ASMR with my sister. She was in front of the camera, but for the first year and a half or two years, I was always behind the camera, writing the scripts, uh, editing the video, putting it up on social medias on YouTube and whatnot. And then she was like, why don't you make your own channel and um, I wasn't making my own channel for a long time but then I felt uh, the need to watch an ASMR video with an arty feel and I looked for it and I didn't find anything and that's why I started making ASMR videos ASMR videos that I wanted to watch myself so the very first videos that I made uh, they were mostly like poetry reading videos. Those were the videos that I made for myself. It may sound a bit selfish, but that's true. And up until now, those videos like ASMR singing, ASMR poetry reading, ASMR role plays, but like cosplays, you know, like um, like the ninja girl, the haiku, the love letter, uh, videos that require a lot of creativity from me those are the videos that I love to make the most like the singing that is what I love the most and that is what I enjoy making the most and I think that is what I'm gonna start doing the most again because then I think at some point I started just doing a lot of requests and um, and that's wonderful and I'll keep doing those too but along the way I kind of almost forgot what I really started this for and thank you so much for calling me incredible that's very sweet of you uh, I probably should have read them in order okay you're a heartbreaker that's an assumption uh, well, I've broken a few hearts and got my heart broken too a few times, so... Um, what's your favorite ASMR channel? Um, I don't have a favorite ASMR channel. There are some videos that I like. There are some channels, of course, that I like more than others. Um, obviously, I have my sister's channel, Miss ASMR, some videos she makes, and I'm like, oh, it's so good. Um, I like Goodnight Moon, she's very creative. I like um, Zeitgeist, although I don't tend to watch a lot of the videos that are based on just sounds, but the reason why I like his videos is because he is so creative, even with those simple things. I love the eyes he puts, you know, on the mic and 
I just you know, add style to his videos so they're not just like anyone can tap. Anyone can tap. There is no such thing as I made a video and it was so popular on my channel in just uh, three or four days it had like about 100,000 views and it was mouth sounds. I was just making mouth sounds and I got so many comments writing to me, oh my god, you are so talented, oh my god, your mouth sounds are incredible. I've heard many mouth sounds but not like yours and <laughs> I mean anyone can make mouth sounds. Someone's mouth is more wet and others are more dry but it doesn't take a special gift or a talent to make you know, a mouth sounds video or mic licking or things like that. But when you see that someone has, you know, a knit factor, someone adds personality, someone um, puts effort, a little creativity into even simple things, you know, then yeah, that's what I like. Those are the channels that I like. Not just with great equipment and nice costumes, because it's easy. If you have money, you will get great equipment and you will get costumes but you can't get charisma, right? So those are the videos that I like, that are char charismatic. Which order of priority do you give music, perfumes, fashion in your life or any additional subject? Of course, music is comes first, always comes first, because um, I've been writing music since I was little and I guess I need to man up and share more of my music with you. I don't know why my voice postponing, postponing and postponing. I have shared one song with you but I have so many and um, yeah so music without doubt it's, it's not even like a question. Um, then after music it would be movies i really love film i really love poetry i i write poetry myself i really do like it do you like dogs i don't like this question because i am asked this a lot in real life too do you like cats do you like dogs do you like people <laughs> it depends what kind of people you know, it depends what kind of dogs. Dogs, they have a personality, they're very smart, they have their own character. So there are dogs that I love and uh, there are dogs that I don't. There are cats that I love and there are cats that I don't. There are people that I really like and there are people that I don't like at all. So it depends on what kind of dogs. <laughs> but uh, in general, yes, I love animals. What advice would you give to a uh, 10 year old Anna. So a 10 year old Anna. Oh my god, I was such a kid. I was, you know, the kid kid. I wasn't one of those kids that really wanted to grow up very quickly. Even at 12, 13 years old, when you start looking more womanly, I hated the attention from boys. I absolutely hated it. And I wanted to stay a kid as long as possible. I would just uh, tell to her to be more confident and that she will succeed. You know, just hard, work hard and you will succeed and just be more confident. So don't doubt yourself. That's what I would. Uh, the next one is, I believe, an assumption from the beginning. I found out that you're a friendly and nice person, Anna. Communicating with you is so easy. Thank you so much. Um, I'm actually quite easygoing and friendly, but that also can be a bit deceiving because um, I am friendly, but it's hard for me to let people in, you know, like as close friends, some little like Jack Burns from Meet the Fuckers. Um, I have a circle of friends and it's very difficult for me to 
<clears throat> let people in i may seem outgoing and friendly but um, on the other hand i'm quite shut and um, it takes me a long while till i let people in and i've noticed this a lot that a lot of people trust me easily and they can absolutely and telling me their life stories and such but i don't think i've ever been that honest with anyone so for me it's hard to open myself up to other people do you have very little worries regarding day-to-day -day life question mark no of course not um i don't know i i may come across as worry-free i think that's because i don't like sharing my problems and i only like sharing the good i don't like um crying and complaining but that doesn't mean that i don't have problems and i don't have worries trust me i have a lot of problems and a lot of responsibilities and a lot of like things that i need to take care of and uh, i think especially guys when they like a girl they tend to assume they not, don't tend to assume but they just only want to see the beautiful the perfect girl you know um they're not usually worried about um whether the girl may have i don't know personal problems financial problems god forbid health problems i'm not just talking about me but i have noticed it with uh, the guy friends that i have too so yeah i think girls in that sense are a little more sensitive mostly not all not all of course what's your favorite season you know i like all the seasons i don't like when winters last too long but i like all the seasons i love summers of course it's my favorite but i love the autumn when the leaves are on the streets everything is yellow and you're walking on them they're just crinkling because they're dry I love spring because you're walking on the street and you can smell the beautiful flowers and the bloom. It's so wonderful. I love the smell of snow. I love rain. I love all the seasons as long as they're beautiful. Okay. Um, so let's see. This one is long. I admire the Armenian people and all you've been through in the past. How are things there now? Things are pretty fantastic in Armenia, thank God. Uh, well, Armenia being one of the oldest countries in the world, of course, it's been through a lot. You might not know it, but Yerevan, the capital of Armenia, is older than Rome. So it's been through a lot and things are really good in Armenia. Um, in 2018, it was named as the number one you know the most uh, developing country in the world in terms of that it's it's made a huge step forward in that year and um, there was the peaceful revolution in Armenia so everything is great I always hated revolution like I was like oh my god only not revolution because it's always so terrible when you read about those in books and um, yeah and not just in books you can see all around you the colorful revolutions and people are dying people are so angry with each other and i was always like oh if we only had mahatma gandhi someone like gandhi <laughs> and um our prime minister is doing a pretty good job i hope he keeps on going as he's going now so yeah it's good it's doing good come visit are you single? I already answered that question. Which foreign culture fascinates you? Everything fascinates me. But I must say that I'm especially fascinated, well, I've always been fascinated by Indian culture. When I was little, I would um, put, uh, I don't know how to call that mall, I forgot. Sindur, it's not Sindur, Sindur is one name paint here i would uh, draw a mall with a red pencil on my forehead in between my brows 
and I legit thought that all Indian women are just born with a red mole in between their brows and their forehead. I didn't think it was painted on and um, I would take different pieces of cloths and make it look like a sari, you know, um, sing Indian songs. It's just always been something very close to me and so Indian culture is something that I'm definitely fascinated by a lot. I also love Japanese and Chinese cultures. They're quite similar and very different at the same time. I love different European cultures. So yeah, anything that is new and exciting and has history behind it, I'm fascinated by. I love you. I love you too. I love you. I love you too. I can't. Um, <clears throat> you're offered modeling jobs all the time. I've been offered modeling jobs a few times. I have never felt comfortable to completely like do it. Maybe I am wrong and maybe at some point I will feel comfortable with that. I think I will feel comfortable with that, uh, with modeling when I feel comfortable with the photographer, you know, um, and I feel comfortable with the brand that I'll be modeling for. So it all depends on that. I have a high standard if I'm going to be modeling for a brand, then it has to be so a brand uh, that I really believe in and like myself. Have you been to Mexico? I recommend my family is from there and it's beautiful. Hola! I've never been to Mexico, unfortunately. I would love to come. Hello to your family. You are not a communist. <laughs> no. Do you have a boyfriend? Right now, I don't have a boyfriend. What do you do outside YouTube? And this is again something that a question that appeared quite a lot. Um, would you want YouTube to do your full-time job? I don't know, to be honest. Um, this year, um, a few of you or many of you have noticed that I'm uploading a lot more often this past month. Um, and yes, I want to do more YouTube in my life because that is something that I really enjoy doing and it takes a lot of effort but it's something that you know I never regret I always do it with great pleasure so um, I certainly want it to be one of my main things that I do in life but I don't want I don't see myself just being a youtuber to be honest with you I will share more on it in the future I assume you are a wonderful person. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I assume you are a wonderful person too. Because a lot of the times what we think about the other person describes us more than the other person. <laughs> okay. kind of want to read all of your comments, but I don't think I can. Um, do you like police drama books? set in latin america love your videos thanks i've read quite a few books i'm a bookworm i've never read such a book actually is it even a thing a drama police book set in latin america never read anything like that to be honest with you i love you you are wonderful thank you guys so much uh, you are so beautiful thank you thank you thank you thank you uh, you're short <laughs> and uh, right above that someone writes how tall are you I assume you are 165 centimeters to be completely honest with you I do not know how tall I am because it's been quite a long time I haven't measured myself when I was 15 I was 165 centimeters I believe I've grown a few centimeters since then so I, I don't think I'm 170, no, but I can be somewhere between 160, 7 or 8, something like that, so I can say. 
don't quote me on that because I really haven't measured my height. Um, I think this will be it for today and I will make something like this, a video like this again sometime later and answer all of your questions and read your assumptions. I hope that you learned something more about me and that lets us get closer to each other when we know each other a little bit better. I love you guys so so much and I'm so so hungry so if you're hungry to go eat something or drink something and I love you guys so much. See you soon.